King Charles and his spouse Camilla have returned to London, where the monarch is set to undergo treatment. Charles greeted his subjects from the window of his car, but this time there were few photographers. Camilla appeared restrained and unsmiling, perhaps due to the overcast and rainy weather. The royal convoy headed towards Buckingham Palace. The king's arrival coincided with new rumors from the palace about Charles's meeting with his son Harry, who flew in from America to see his father upon learning about his diagnosis. The leaks from the palace became known thanks to journalist Petronella Wyatt, who was considered a friend of the new queen. While royal experts previously speculated whether Camilla was present during Charles and Harry's conversation, Petronella presented a new version. Harry did not want to be in the same room with Camilla, discussing his father's illness, and this seems plausible. Considering Camilla's numerous journalist friends, the question arises, from whom could Petronella Wyatt learn the details of the meeting between Charles, Harry, and Camilla? Following this, the words of Prince Harry about leaks of personal information about the Wallaces and the Sussexes to the press come to mind, with Camilla allegedly behind them. Prince Harry mentioned his complicated relationship with his stepmother in his memoir Reserve, where he shared childhood fears that Camilla would turn out to be the wicked stepmother and that for the sake of improving her image, she feeds negative stories about Charles' sons and their wives to the press. According to Harry, she was dangerous in her efforts to enhance her image in the eyes of the British. I have mixed feelings about gaining a stepmother who, I believe, recently sacrificed me for her personal PR, writes the prince in his book. Of course, one could habitually blame Harry for disrespect towards his father and his beloved wife, 